President Biden and his allies in Congress are chomping at the bit to grease the wheels for a partisan $3.5 trillion spending spree before they leave for the August break, at the time when our national debt is set to exceed levels not seen since World War II, this is not only irresponsible, but dangerous. Hardworking Americans are already paying the price for excess spending in the form of inflation, with prices rising throughout the economy. And of course, poll after poll shows Americans are becoming increasingly concerned about inflation. Instead of adding to these concerns in the pursuit of wish list priorities, Congress should fo focus on addressing the real priorities of the American people. For instance, we should be taking action to address the crisis at our southern border. In June, U.S. Customs and Border Protection encountered 188,000 people. That's up 471 percent from the same time last year. As a result of the Biden's administration irresponsible immigration policies, um, Customs and Border Patrol has encountered over one and one-tenth million illegal immigrants at the southern border during this fiscal year. That's five times larger than the population of Iowa's capital city, Des Moines. The crisis is undeniable, but Senate Democrats are trying hard to deny it. Instead of taking action to secure our borders and deter illegal immigration, Senate Democrats are attempting to use reckless tax and spending bill to offer amnesty to millions of illegal immigrants living in the United States. It's deeply irresponsible. It'll only encourage more of this illegal immigration, and it'll only make the border crisis worse. Illegal immigration isn't the only crime cascading over the border. Mexican cartels are pouring record high amounts of hard drugs, methamphetamine, cocaine, heroin, fentanyl, across the border with impunity. Fentanyl has become the uh, choice drug because it's highly potent and, of course, highly profitable, particularly for the cartels. A tiny amount, even as small as a grain of salt, can result in overdose and, of course, in death. Fentanyl is increasingly laced into other drugs, which heightens potency, often without the user even knowing it. In 2020, over 93,000 Americans died from drug overdoses. That's almost the entire population of Davenport, Iowa. The primary driver of this surge is overdose deaths, it is fentanyl coming in from Mexico. Instead of working on curbing cartels at the border and cutting off their extensive power in the United States, Senate Democrats choose to bury their heads in the sand and pretend, pretend that fentanyl isn't deadly. The border crisis is then very obviously a drug crisis. And on top of that, police departments across the country are still having a hard time getting enough officers. Violent crime is soaring. Homicide rates are through the roof. Iowa families don't redecorate their houses when the plumbing is leaking. These issues are dinner table issues. So Congress must focus on them instead of reckless and partisan spending proposals that's going on in the United States Senate now by the majority party.